Hey guys, welcome to my video. We're gonna be basically setting up my apartment because I basically recently moved in. And when I mean recently, I mean about four days ago. And those four days consisted of me having the flu. So I haven't done anything, if that makes sense. Like I've literally just slept in my bed. So I haven't, I haven't even done a big grocery shop. I, I haven't got uh, most of my furniture. I've only got this sofa. So there's things to do. So I thought, why not do like a whole setting up, setting up my house, you know, kind of vibe. First thing I need to go do is do a big grocery shop because I've been shopping from like the little corner shop because I've been ill. So I've been having soups. I'm, I'm gonna do like a big fat shop, like a big fat juicy shop. Another thing is I wanna start cooking more, which I will talk about after. Anyways, let's go. Okay, so I just got to the shop and I, I don't know why, like, but driving in London definitely does like add a stress when you don't know the roads. Like I'm sure in a week or not even a week, I'm sure in a couple of days once I've done the routes, I'll be fine. But like I took the wrong thing and then I had to go somewhere else. Anyways, I'm literally fine. Um, but I'm gonna go do, I think sometimes you can make like activities and mental health activity. You can either make grocery shopping stressful or what I'm doing right now is I'm going, like, it's 9pm. It's 9pm. I'm making it a, a mental health grocery shop. Do you know what I mean? Unfortunately, I don't have my headphones. Otherwise, I'd have my headphones in and listening to my music. I am just going to be with myself, which is absolutely fine. You know what? Ponder around the shops. Collect my groceries. Let me, let me take you with me. I don't know why I actually thought I would vlog in the store because there was people and I get camera shy. I got my shopping. I'm actually so tired. Reflecting on my actions, that was not the best idea because I am tired. I think I just got excited because I haven't been able to go out the house at all for the last four days because I have been having the flu. Now I feel obviously a lot better. I just got excited. So obviously I went out at 9 p.m. Not a good idea because now it's 10 and I'm hungry and I didn't realize the time and I still want food. But I do want to show you what I've got. I also won't lie that it wasn't my favorite shop. But it's okay, it's a new area. So I've got to find my favorite superstore. It wasn't my absolute favorite. I, I managed to buy a lot, but not, not everything that I want. Let's start with bag number one. I've got some herbal teas. So I've got a day to night collection, eucalyptus eucalyptus one which i thought would be good for my sinuses and a three mint which is my one of my favorites to have in the morning and then i got loads of frozen items because i have so much freezer room it's crazy like i think especially living alone i'm going to really utilize my freezer because i can like store things in there and then it will always immediately be ready because my thing is that like sometimes i just haven't been shopping and i've got no food in the fridge and i can't bother to go out or like i don't have enough time to go out and then do you know what I mean? So I want to like stock up my freezer so much so I will always have food. Frozen strawberries, frozen blueberries, frozen raspberries, mango peas. I'm going to get more of everything. Like I want to get more vegetables. Okay, and then sauce wise, ketchup, mayo, sweet chili. This looked kind of nice. It looks like a pre-made kind of Italian olive oil dressing because I want to get into um so i've also got organic olive oil and i really want to get into like drizzling like olive oil over salads and stuff and not like cooking it because apparently like raw olive oil is really really good for you like so many health benefits but to kick start me into pouring that i'm gonna use this like i will eventually use that to make my own salad dressing but i feel like when you're new to like a habit or like a recipe you want to make it as easy as possible I got some soaring bread. I then got a bathroom and a kitchen cleaner with some microfiber towels. These are the two yogurts that I've got. So just a natural one and a strawberry one. And actually I'm gonna eat the strawberry one now because I don't like eating just before I go to bed, like just before, because I feel like it kind of affects my sleep. But I need some food, so I'm gonna try and get that in now. I like getting both because sometimes like, I see this more as like a dessert kind of thing. And then I just get the plain one and I'll add like honey on for breakfast and stuff. Mm. Oh my God. That's so, do I really need to put it in a bowl? Yeah, because I want to add stuff to it. Granola. That's 
way too much for my opener. I got this granola, but I won't lie. I don't like it. I don't mind the texture, but I don't like, it's not sweet enough. And then I'm gonna add some peanut butter just for some extra substance and literally tastiness. Does that not look good? Can you see that? Mm. Living alone means I can do whatever I want on my kitchen counter, including eat on it. Oh, wow. Mmm. Oh, suddenly I do like that granola, you know? I think because I just had it with milk the other day and there was just no taste, whereas this is strawberry yogurt, so it's actually quite nice. That's really made me excited for breakfast. I won't lie, I did have a friend's day around the last couple of days. So I haven't actually done the whole living alone thing yet. <laughs> like, luckily I had her around for the flu because then like able to kind of like be with me and just keep me company and look after me. But you're, you're, you're with me for like the first night, so. This is quite literally my first evening alone. And then some other random things that I got. Organic milk, virgin smoothie, like all these fun ingredients. It looks pretty fresh, which is what I like to look out for when I get like a juice. I'm just gonna have this like, have a little bit each day. Do you know what I mean? Like not chug half of it, but like just as a little vitamin boost. Pitta breads. I got some canned tomatoes because they are literally the base of like loads of meals. Five bean, kidney bean, butter bean, and chickpeas. So they're all pre-cooked, so I can just like open them up, add them to anything. And then I got some stock cubes. These ones are my favorite. You can add them to soups, like, what else? The base of a meal. Like you could add it to like a bolognese or something. And then, now I have never done this because I have, like the whole time I lived in London with Millie, I would just buy like little packs of rice. Obviously it's not that small, it was like that big. But I've just folded it in half. And I would go through it quite quickly. And every couple of days would I be going to the shops to buy rice? Guess what I did? I used my brain. I bought five kilos worth of rice with a, a resealable seal at the top. And I'm just gonna have a scoop. So I always have rice. I never have to think I don't have food in the house. It's like, right, you got rice and you got canned tomatoes, so you got beans, so you got chili con carne if you ever need it. <laughs> I am going to leave you guys because if I vlog any more, then I'm going to go to bed at midnight. Okay, I've got myself ready. I just did like my skin and my teeth and whatnot. There's just so much anxiety. It's so funny. I am one of those people when I'm with other people, I go into a bubble and like, because I'm not alone myself, I don't understand what's coming up. Do you know what I mean? And it's just like my head's like, right, do those things. You have so many things to do. And then it's like, eat breakfast. And then it's like, wait, do this. And then it's like, wait, go do that. Go do that. Go do that. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, ah, ah. So I'm just gonna be mindful today. And then my brain's also like, vlog everything. You should vlog this. You should vlog that. And it's like, but wait, I, I, I want to vlog it. But then I also know whenever I vlog like my whole day, my day doesn't always feel like the whole of it's mine, which is sometimes why like I come back and I catch you up with things and I'm like, oh guys, I just did this instead of taking you along with it because otherwise like every part of my life is always filmed and sometimes I just have to be present in it. So that's a whole nother situation. Also, am I going into a green phase? Who knows? Or am I just wearing the new Gymshark Rest Day collection because it's in my wardrobe? Do you know what I mean? Because I go through color phases. Da -na 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 -na. Let's make breakfast with me. Let's go into my wellness cupboard. And what tea should I have this morning? Mint. Oh, that smells so good. My greens. Guys, I feel like I'm gonna vlog so much more now because I'm so alone in this apartment. I need someone to talk to. <laughs> oh my God, I'm gonna be such an it girl. Okay. Ew. I'm gonna wash this. I wanna talk about something that very, you know, when I was ill, I obviously, you know, went down the flu and suddenly you're like, right, I need my vitamins, I need my vitamin C, I need my soups with all the veggies in and nutrients. And I need like the, you know, the honey and lemon drinks and everything. And then I was like, oh my God, I need to drink so much water. And it made me think, isn't it so interesting that when we're ill, do we realize 
like how much effort we want to put into our bodies and like oh god here are the app like we know the absolute best things for ourselves because when we're ill we're literally like here have it why don't i have a bit of soup every day to get vegetables in why don't i take my vitamins every day why do i only take it when i'm ill why do i only purposely drink more water when i'm ill do you know what i mean so i guess i learned a few lessons from when i'm ill and everything happens for a reason so i guess that's that but I'm trying to include the practices that I was doing when I was ill. I think this is going to make me ill. I don't think this is clean. But yeah, I just thought that was interesting. Like, we don't do all the things that are supposedly good for us all the time. And I don't mean all of that in like a, oh, I'm only ever going to do the good things for me. It's more like, why don't we include them in our normal balanced lifestyle? Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm all for doing everything else, but I should include that too. Or I want to, not I should. I need to buy a lot of things, like even storage containers. I need to buy a desk because I can't work on my studio at the moment. I can't film a podcast at the moment because I need an armchair. Well, that's a lazy excuse. I can do my podcast, to be fair. My throat hurts. But like, I want it to be, all be set up. I also need to get a little like, zoom, zoom. But I haven't got one of those. Right, I might have my tea later because there's too many items going on. Breakfast. I was close to having eggs. I could have eggs, but the being bothered level is not there. Don't know if these are gonna pass my, my check. Right, I'll show you when my breakfast is done. Look at this. Yogurt, blueberries, granola, honey, milk water. And then I've got coconut flakes. And isn't this bowl so cute? I got it from Ikea. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yum. All right, I'm gonna sit on my cute little sofa. Sit on my cute little sofa and eat my breakfast. Okay, I'm actually quite in the mood to have a little clean, but I wanna show you the before because it's not actually that messy, but I feel like when I clean it and I'd be like, guys, it's clean, you won't know what it looked like before. So just a few little random bits of mess. My little Dyson, which, oh my God, is so fun. Look at this. I'm gonna keep my sofa so clean. Beautiful. I've got like few random bits, studio light, more Dyson bits. And then this is currently the kitchen. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna give you a full house tour so you can always see. And then this is like all rubbish that needs to be taken out. So I'm just gonna give it a little spring clean. A little spring clean. Guys, look at the light coming in. And it's just at the beginning of the day. So like, it moves along the whole house. Bam. Guys, look how cute it looks. I haven't finished tidying, but I'm about to wipe the surfaces. Okay, both my SIM card and battery are about to die, but let me show you the place quickly because I've done it. So, all rubbish taken, clean. I vacuumed everywhere. Um, pretty silver, it looks pretty empty, but yeah, I just cleaned everywhere, which was nice. Wiped all the surfaces. For lunch, I got myself a pita, soup, avocado and salmon. So I'm gonna put like some avo in the pita and then whatever. Oh, hello. Um, so I had my lunch um, and then now I think I'm gonna like head out. I was looking for gyms in the area and I'm struggling. I won't lie, I'm struggling. Luckily I have a car, but also with that, still struggling to find like, I'm, I'm picky with my gyms. Um, also, I'm gonna do my hair now. When I had my hair blonde, like you can see this is still the blonde part and it's just going more and more orange because the brown dye is running out and I really just don't want to go to the hairdresser. So at the moment, I'm really preferring my hair in an oily slip back bun. Like I feel like I, I feel put, more put together. Ugh, so yeah, really struggling to find gyms. Anyways, I found a CrossFit gym. Now I'm not a CrossFitter at all, but the gym looks sick. I won't like the gym looks sick. And I saw they had an Instagram. So I messaged them and I was like, hey, do you have like an open gym too? Like, like, can you, I was like, look, I'm not a crossfitter, 
would love to try the classes, but do you have time where it's just a gym? And they were like, yeah, between nine to five. And I was like, well, that's amazing because I don't work a nine to five. So that's when I would go anyways. Like, obviously I'm not a hundred percent better, but I just want to get out the house. Like I'm, I'm going to, I'm not going crazy. I'm just like, I need to get out. I'm literally just chucking in argan oil. I want to get some castor oil and rosemary oil. Isn't that so funny? For so many years have I hated the thought of oily, greasy hair, and now I'm purposely putting it in it every day. Every time I wash my hair and have my hair down, I forget how much it's like grown from, because my hair used to be quite short. I'm going to keep doing an, a bun quite a few times, you know, for the next months. And then suddenly I'm going to have my hair down and be like, oh, it's quite long. <laughs> Also, I'm growing my hair. Like, I'm growing it. I want long hair. Long hair and era is coming. Like, there. And then hopefully, like, be able to start chopping off this stuff. So I basically just oiled it. And then I get this brush, which I got in boots. For a girl who doesn't know how to do hair properly, I think that's why I love this hairstyle. Because it's actually so easy. You can't go wrong. It's taken me a while to get out. Um, you know, and sometimes you can't quite be bothered to like, you know, put a lot of effort in or, or get into clothes. I really had to today because of, I don't know what I'm feeling. I'm going through something, but like, I did my hair and I was like, make sure your hair is good. Make sure you're wearing the cutest outfit ever. It's like I'm utilizing the fact that what you wear is what makes you feel a certain way, do you know what I mean? Like I'm utilizing it in a good way because I don't have room to feel bad. I don't have room for more anxiety. So I got my flares on to make myself feel put together. I got my cute pink top on that always makes me feel like I'm on top of the world. I got my little spiky bun. I got my puffer coat and now like now I feel a little bit less like, I've got more of a shield on for today, right? Less can get to me because I feel cute. I'm gonna, I'm gonna text my therapist actually right now. Times like this calls for it. Okay guys, um, I went to the gym. It was like, a, as I said, a CrossFit gym and it was just like a really nice like empty space. It's not like a gym, like it's not a gym with like, that kind of stuff but it's really good for like filming and it was just nice to have a little quiet space so that was good and I feel like it kind of put me in a better mood um and I think I forget that like yeah it's good that I'm okay with like okay yeah I didn't I haven't really exercised the last three weeks and whatnot but like n did I just realize like oh but that's why we exercise because it makes us feel good like I come out of that feeling good why wouldn't I do that huh when I'm someone who does suffer, not suffer, God, but like has my days and stuff, I can really utilize some things, including exercise. I just did like maybe 30 minutes body weight, a combination of stretching, mobility, and like body weight exercises, which was nice. I picked up the five kg dumbbells to do about three bicep curls on each side. Now I've parked in a car park because I'm gonna go to Waitrose because Waitrose boosts my mood and also I need things like meat and other products for my fridge because <gasps> shall I cook myself a yummy dinner tonight? Yes, I will. I don't know what, but I will. Also, I haven't done any work today and I kind of told myself like, oh, I'm gonna do it in the evening. So I'm gonna do some work later. But yeah, let's get out the car. We are back, which, you know, uh. <coughs> right guys we are back and you know what that means we've got another grocery haul and i got quite a lot and i got it from waitrose which just it means i'm enthusiastic about it okay so see this is why i go to the gym not to have the muscles you know aesthetics no so i can carry these up the stairs onto the counter with ease. Okay, let me show you what I've got. First thing, a rosemary, no, <laughs> a mint plant. And I'm gonna like pick off the leaves and put them in my water. Some leaves for my salads that I want to eat. You know what though, I am a little bit peckish. I know I got this yesterday and I haven't tried it. Oh, oh, 
oh, this will be good. I don't think I've had much fruit today. Oh God, that was actually half the thing. Oh well. guys if you see this anywhere get it pressed apples strawberries cherries black currants dragon fruit purple carrot vitamin c vitamin d that sounds beneficial and delicious also you know when i messaged my therapist she replied to me and i've got a therapy session i brought it forward to tomorrow 8 a.m so i i'm basically sorted i have to get through the evening not have to get through but like I just gotta make it tomorrow. I gotta wake up and then I've got therapy straight away, which is beautiful. But what I reflect on was, I'm not normally used to purposely wanting to be at home, right? Like in my parents' house, I'm always trying to be out, right? And that's my version of a good day. I'll go to the gym and then I'll work and then I'll go to a friend's house and then I'll go do this and I'll go do that. And like, I just wanna be out the house. I come back and I'm like, oh, what an amazing day. Whereas earlier, like, it's like I have a whole house and I'm like, I'm supposed to, like, it's a weird concept. Obviously, I'm going to, like, I love it and everything, but it's so weird. So it's just a, a difference in, like, no, this is your home, Anna, and you like being here. Anyways, got some rice cakes. I just thought cupboard fillers. I'm going to make, like, a, I'm not going to say chili con carne because I might upset some people. I'm going to say tomato sauce with beef with rice maybe with pasta maybe like spaghetti bolognese but with pasta shells you know just like tomato sauce vibes oh my god i'm gonna put my meats here i'm gonna put my veg here i'm gonna put my carbohydrates here oh yummy let me show you starting with meats we've got two packs because they were two for eight pounds so i'll put one in the freezer i've got some fresh um organic salmon from the counter some mackerel and feta and cheddar and then we've got a big thing of oats and some hemp seeds for breakfast stuff and then these are my just few carbohydrates rice cakes pasta bread and then i love this people think oh it's like a weird health thing no 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 like i just was grown up with this type of stuff my mum fed me this so i like it and it's basically like really dense seedy bread it's not bread, it's like seed bread, if that makes sense. It's all seeds. So it's an amazing way to get like fats in. Um, so I have that with like avocado or like, what else would I like on that? Peanut butter and jam. I just use it as bread, but I don't, it's not a replacement of bread, if that makes sense. Okay, so this is all the other stuff. I've got courgette, leeks, celery, leaves, which I already showed you, potatoes, pepper, onion, apples, and then I got a load of pears and red currants. Now, the reason why I got a load of pears and apples is because they're in season at the moment. And I saw, well, I know, and I saw some stuff recently that in season fruit and veg are so important because they have like more antioxidants in. And in England, these are really in season. Got a load of carrots, bananas. And then there was like a three for nine deal on these olives. And I love a good olive. So I've got those and then this one comes with feta and brown black olives and they last quite a while so I can like keep them in the back of the fridge and then just open one when I want. And then I've got some passata because I need that for tonight. This is my favorite type of jam, this raspberry jam. Sun dried tomatoes for the fridge. I love adding these to like salads and stuff and I can also add it to like, I can dice it up and add it to meals for extra flavor. And then I just got some like organic maple syrup. Um, this is what my fridge looks like already. Um, so, although I did a shop yesterday, there is not really much in it. So I'm going to fill it up. Oops. Mm -mm -mm. I'm actually so excited to cook tonight. I feel like I need to start it now though, because it's one of those things that like, needs to brew. Like it needs to flavor. Okay, let's organize my fruit bowl with me. Right now, it is looking so sad. I have two and a half lemons. And it's good, because these pears are not ripe at all. So they'll sit in my fruit bowl for quite a while. And look all nice and pretty. Wow. I've got my own fruit bowl, guys. Apples. <laughs> look at that. That's 
actually quite nice, guys. Quite proud of that. Ugh. Wow, that looks really Tudor style. Okay, then I'm gonna put one of these in the freezer. Anything else that needs to go in the freezer? Bread. I wanna show you how I'm actually gonna cook my dinner. <laughs> um, right guys, let me show you my setup. We have exhibit A, all the vegetables that need to be chopped up. And then I've just added some olive oil to that. Nice little saute, soften them up. These are my other items. I'm gonna have pasta tonight, mince. Got my two cans of tomato, one can of red kidney, passata. And I'm basically just gonna go in my seasoning drawer. I'm gonna use some sea salt. Do, 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 do. That's not sea salt. That's rock salt. Vegetable stock, vegetable, vegetable bouillon. Gonna need to add some water. I've got Italian all around it, basically like, it's just got all the spices mixed already, so I don't actually have to think about what I need. Otherwise, paprika, pepper, oregano, basil, yummy stuff. And it's good to um, cook the spices with the onion and oil. It like heats them up. I've also decided guys that I'm gonna become a chef. Now I'm already, you know, a good cook. My mum grew me up in a way of like, you will learn how to do things for yourself. And so I did that. So I learned how to make decent meals from a young age. Um, but I wanna, I wanna elevate. I wanna, I wanna be like a chef. I wanna create. Okay, not so much chef as in like tiny little things with like intricate detail. But like, I wanna, I wanna be really good at cooking. Like when I'm a mum, I wanna be able to make everything. Everything. Cauliflower cheese, okay. Macaroni cheese, okay. Um, lasagna, everything. Like I, I can already kind of, but like they probably weren't really good examples. Anyways, I wanna become chef. So while we're in this new kitchen, that's what we're gonna do. It's gonna be the new era. Um, so I think also on my channel, it's quite fun to like take you guys along with my cooking and teach you guys how to cook as well. So far I have very basic skills but they get you somewhere. You don't want to burn this, so I'm putting it on like a six, and that needs quite a lot of time just to soften up before you add all the other veg. You never want to add onion, carrot, pepper all at once. You always want to put the onion in first. While that's cooking, I'm going to chop all my other veg so then I can put them in. And you basically put them in in order of what takes the longest so that they all, can all be ready at the same time. Now we have leek. Why leek and onion? Leek and onion, extra flavour. You could have one or the other, but both is like double layer flavour. And I'm gonna put them in quite close with each other, um, just because this is basically like an onion. I'm gonna make so much of this so that it goes in the freezer. So I'm just adding some more olive oil. Some more of this. Oh, nice little clump. Next thing I'm going to add is celery. Now, I've chopped some up of the stalk. I want to get the leaves. This is actually what's like put in like seasoning. Do you know what I mean? I'm listening to a really good playlist on Spotify. I literally searched out cooking in the kitchen and it came up with cooking and dancing in the kitchen. This is what I'm next chopping up. This is what this looks like. Look at these pretty carrots. I'm going to put them. Okay, so the carrots have been cooking for a bit. We've got some pepper chopped. Before I add any more veg, because the pan is getting quite full, and also this is just normally when I add it anyways, we're basically gonna get the mince and brown it off. So I'm just going like this. Do, 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 do. Turn the heat up a little bit, add some more seasoning. And what's good about this type of meal is like, today I can have it with pasta, tomorrow I can have it with rice, and then I can have it with pasta and then rice, and then whatever so you can like mix it up so it doesn't feel like you're eating the exact same meal i'm just kind of breaking it up because it goes quite like chunky so that is what the dish looks like so far i decided i didn't want the pepper in there so i've just put it in there with some celery so i can eat that in the fridge oh i do want mushrooms as well so we're gonna add the courgette and that's why i decided not to go for the pepper because i thought it's gonna take away from the spaghetti bolognese and I'm not gonna add beans anymore because I am going for a spaghetti bolognese sauce. No, they were my decisions I had to make while you were gone. Now it's time to add the sauce and then give that a little swirl with water to get the extra sauce put to it. Lovely. And then I'm gonna add passata. And you can see my pan is very full. Where did I get this recipe from? 
none of it's a recipe, it's just how my mum taught me when I was younger and then I kind of... There's a couple of things my mum taught me, but every meal had vegetables in it, every meal, because that's where the flavour comes from, right? And the nutrients, like it wasn't just pesto pasta, she would make pesto pasta and then add courgette, onion, mushroom, like ev every veg in there to make it really tasty. And whenever I cook for my friends, like with loads of veggies and things that they don't think normally there is vegetables in, it just tastes so good. That's why the pan is full. That is why the pan is full. <laughs> so the mushrooms are in, sauce is in. Next, a little bit of like, you always want to add like a little bit of sweetness. So I add a little bit of maple syrup and it basically just like brings down the tartness of the tomatoes. So you know when you get the pre-made bolognese sauce, that normally has like sugar in. Okay guys, so I jumped in the shower while it was like the end of my um, cooking time so that I'm all clean for dinner because I have a thing where like if I eat dinner not clean, I don't know, I just don't feel great. Anyways, look how cute it looks. Look at that. Also, um, with the pasta, I added olive oil and sea salt and it just elevates it. I did overcook it because I was in the shower, but you know what? I'm pretty happy with that. That looks good. It tastes insane. Literally tastes insane. I got cheese on my pasta. Mm. Mm. The outfit right now is giving. And the hair. But that looks so good. I'm going to enjoy and sit on my sofa. Okay, so these two are going in the freezer because they're like in meal portions. So I can just take one out and unfreeze it. And this is going in the fridge and this is going to do a couple of meals for the next couple of days. Good morning. I just had therapy. So it was at like 8 a.m. Which was actually quite nice because I didn't have to think about anything. I was like, right, just therapy straight away. And it was really good. And like, I'm just going to share things with you because I always think it's so interesting and like, whatever. Obviously, I was telling her just how I was feeling. I was like, I'm... I feel like there's so much piling on top of me. I suck at decision making at the moment. Like if I try and look for something like a desk or something, two seconds later, am I like not knowing which one and I give up? Or if someone asks me a question or if I get a text like, hey, do you want to do this? I'm like, everything is just like, oh, I just feel stressed. And I just feel like all of this stuff. And I just told her. And I was like, I also am just sad that like I've lost my like, when I came back from Bali, I felt like a different human. Different gravy, honestly. I was skipping down the street. I was just, like, I was never anxious. I was just on something else. And she was like, and when did that stop? And I was like, when I went back to my parents. And, like, and she was like, okay, so that's understandable. And I was like, yeah, but then I'm in my new place so I don't feel like that again. Because I was really, like, hoping, like, oh, all my anxiety's going to go when I'm in my new place. And... And she was like, yes, but you've also been really ill and you've had dislocation and a breakup. <laughs> she was like, you've been through a lot. And basically, at the end of the call, she was like, you are just really overwhelmed. You're overwhelmed. And to hear someone say, like, you know when you have someone, like, categorise what you're going through? Like, oh, no, you're just going, you're just going through this. And you're like, oh, okay. Obviously, like, overwhelmed is a feeling. And I could have said that earlier as well before my call. Yeah, like, I feel overwhelmed. But for her to be like, no, no, you are overwhelmed. So, eh, like, I feel like this at the moment with all the things I need to do. I need to set up Wi-Fi. I need to buy this. I need to buy a desk. I need to... Th there are so many things that I need to do. I need to send this. I need to reply to these messages. Like, there are so many things. And at any time that I do anything, like, at any time that I go on WhatsApp at the moment, I'm literally just, like, shook. I'm just shook because there's... Because there's, she said, because there's already so much going on here and feeling like this... When I actually get presented with all the things, like WhatsApp messages, it I just shut down, which was really interesting. And I told her, I cried to her. I was like, I feel like such a shit friend and family member at the moment. I take a ridiculous amount of time to reply and I can't help it. And she thinks that getting a diagnosis for like ADHD, I know this was a big jump, but getting a diagnosis for ADHD will allow me to have more room for like compassion for myself of like some things are just not you because that's what we were talking about as well but that's like another thing but anyways and I was telling her it's like I can't rest any longer I went through a breakup I've had three weeks out where I haven't been 
working. I haven't been working as much recently at all. And it's affecting me because I now feel like I have so many things going on. So she's kind of like, right. Because yesterday I was struggling, right? And I shared with you, I was like, I'm really struggling. Like, I, I, I can't get to do anything. Or when I do something, it doesn't feel quite right. And, and I'm taking a long time to get out of the house. And that's because I saw myself as not ill anymore. So I'm like, right, come on, do things. And I couldn't understand why I couldn't do things. Now I have the compassion and understanding for myself Ah, you're overwhelmed. Okay, I'm gonna help you. Do you know what I mean? Instead of being like, Anna, why aren't you doing things? I had no understanding that I was, that there was so much going on. I didn't, I knew there was, like, oh, I feel stressed, but I didn't realize that it was an actual thing that I was struggling with. So now what I'm gonna do is like, right, we're gonna look for a desk and we're gonna buy a desk. That's the first thing we're gonna do. So it's just like doing one thing at a time. And I'm also gonna get my planner out and I'm gonna plan this week. And, and she said, instead of, cause what, what I've done, well not what I've done, but this is what happens when you get overwhelmed. You don't structure in anything. You don't plan anything cause you feel like there's too much to do. You can't commit to like, tomorrow I'm gonna go to the shops and buy this that I need to buy because I think to myself, but I need it right now. So I need to go do it right now. Everything that I need to do needs to be done right now. That's what my brain is telling me. So in with that, I'm procrastinating and I'm struggling and I can't get anything done. So instead it's like, I'm gonna get a week planner and be like, today I'm buying a desk, tomorrow I'm buying a bed. This, I'm doing that. I've got a call with Alex at this time. I've got, do you know what I mean? Like really kind of like all the things that I've got in my head, like sort out Wi-Fi. Tomorrow, 10 a.m. am I sorting out Wi-Fi? So I'm gonna like, Plan it like that and then go very slowly, like not fill up my day so much and just be like, right, you're feeling overwhelmed, we're gonna just do one thing at a time. So that made me feel better understanding that section of it. This is what I mean by therapy, right? It just solves all my problems in a way of making under making me understand what's going up on and here so that I can actually just like put a step forward. I need some breakfast. Ooh, eggs. I have this much avocado left. Oh, I could have some mushrooms with my eggs. I'm gonna have some juice, green juice. And I need bread. Right, I'm gonna play some really cute music on Spotify, on my speaker, and I'm gonna dance in the kitchen. Let me make my papa. Cooking my mushrooms. See my mushrooms. I used sea salt and vegetable all rounder and butter for my mushrooms. Look at those eggs. This is how I flip them. Oh. Avocado topping. Look at my little breakfast board because I don't have a plate. Oh my God, those mushrooms look insane. My avo. Um, muy deliciosa. Let's try. Mm. Wow. No, I wasn't sure to put the vegetable one on the mushrooms, but that, that is the most mushroomy mushroom I've ever tasted. That is everything you ever want on a mushroom. Now I'm gonna try my avo toast. I don't know how to wet my oven. Can someone please tell me in the comments which one is grilled? Because which one do I use to toast my toast? Because I don't have a toaster. Can you hear that? The avo saved it though, it's really good. I don't think I've actually vlogged in my room yet much, but this is like, if you've seen the household, and this is obviously my room. Now, I don't have a bed frame yet. I haven't ordered one. I don't know what I want. I think I kind of want to bring in like wood. Like I want like a big wooden. Surely if I have wood, it has to match that. I'm gonna watch Footloose. I'm gonna do that. But I wanted to mention that this mattress this gorgeous mattress was actually gifted to me. It was gifted by Simba. And like, obviously I am picky with my mattresses. And when I looked through their website, it's all like really high tech. Like, let me show you. Look at all of this. And like, it's made from like recycled plastics and stuff and plastic bottles, which I think is really cool. And they have like a net zero commitment. So basically like, it's good for the planet. A mattress that's good for the planet. I like that, I like that. It's literally so comfy, like, Oh, I've had the best night's sleep in it. Best night's sleep. 
And I did say before I moved in that I was gonna really invest in like good quality, like mattress, duvet, pillows, sheets and everything, just because of how important sleep is. So I'm really quite chuffed with this mattress. So thank you Simba for the mattress. It's also got hypoallergenic British wool, which is really important because basically wool like regulates your temperature. So like it won't make you too hot or too cold. Like it actually adjusts to your temperature. So yeah, I'm actually rather happy and pleased with my mattress. I feel like this is a big step into adulthood, you know? Like I am officially an adult. And can you see how high it is? This is my leg. <laughs> Now, let me show you the current situation of my place so that when I tidy it up, you can tell me how beautiful it looks. My bathroom is an absolute mess. Like, I have not organized it at all. We've just got things everywhere. A load of Gymshark, boxes, all of this kind of stuff. Washing basket. Hey bros, so Footloose didn't even go on for one second because I realized I actually can't do two things at once and I can only listen to music. But it's been really nice. Now, let me show you my tidy bathroom. Ta-da! Right, so in the corner, I didn't know what to put, so I put that. And this has just got like daily makeup, skincare, toothbrush. Got a cute little wooden soap thing. And then I wanna try to keep this pretty empty. Like I don't even want that, but I need my daily stuff. And then down here do we have my new kind of drawers, which kind of works because the background is gray. So it really does kind of just tuck in there like this one's all hair care i've put a little like toilet cleaner and some leftover to toilet roll okay so yesterday my friend lydia came around and she helped me organize guys i needed it because i was ending the youtube video and i was like my place is not organized and i was like lydia please help me so she did so let me show you everything firstly cupboards wow beautiful okay they did not look like that before look at this right cuppage plastic edge Shopping boardage. Sorry, I don't know why I'm saying that. A full fruit bowl is what we'd like to see. And then I've just got like food. This is my little snacks, cereals, whatever. And then I've got my chocolate up there. And then I've got like my salsas. It's pretty empty to be fair because I haven't started any new like recipes and stuff. And then this is my spice drawer, which I haven't completely sorted, but you get the vibe. My Misfits drawer, which is a bit of a mess. And then my living room still looks like this. I won't lie, my furniture hasn't arrived, so it's gonna be in, in another YouTube video. And then guys, this was the big reveal, because I kid you not, it was so messy for so many days. So it, this is really amazing. Okay guys, so here's the room. All nice and clean. I had a really good vacuum. Honestly, my mind is so much more at peace at the fact my room was like this because it was horrendous before. I don't even think I showed you at, at its worst. So I've got all my baby teddies. Obviously, I'm going to get a bed frame, guys. Don't worry, I am getting a bed frame this year. <laughs> and then I don't think I'm gonna keep this here, but it's just there for the moment. And then these are my books. So if you need a book recommendation, maybe just pause the video. And yeah, and then let me show you inside the cupboards. Now, I don't have all the storage stuff the way I want it. So basically not everything is hanged up yet because I don't have enough hang hangers, hang all, hang all. Um, but I've ordered some more of Ikea. So basically there's more to hang, but I just couldn't hang it because I didn't have any hangers. I've also ordered another one of these rails from home base. So I'm gonna put the rail in there. So I'm basically gonna have like, I'm gonna hang all my Gymshark stuff up. Obviously like if I push it together, you can see how much space I have either side and I'll do that on the bottom as well. Organize like my Gymshark stuff, pants and socks and whatnot. Then we go in here and I've got all my trousers hanged up. I then have these really cute little hooks that I have my belts and then I have some like bags on the go and then I've got my dirty laundry. And then I've just put some Ikea boxes at the top and they've got like bedding, storage, all of that stuff. Then we go into this cupboard which is pretty much just hoodies. And then I've kind of got like pajama stuff and then normal clothes. But yeah, this is the crib and I'm so proud of myself. Like it's all tidy. And then let me show you the state of the studio podcast room because that is a state and that will be the next venture. So currently my Ikea desk has turned up but I don't know how to make it. So it's just kind of staying there. And then yeah, I just got all my little like electronics, admin stuff. So that's yet to be organized. Oh, let me show you the bathroom as well though. This is the spare bathroom. Look how cute this is guys. Is this not really cute of me? So I've got this really nice hand soap. Got my little elephants, a little plant. I've just got some things in there. Also, this is my gym outfit today. I'm trying to keep up the Christmas spirit. And I also haven't been to the gym in so long. 
And then it smells so good because I've burnt these candles in the bath the other day. But yeah, I really, really like this bathroom. So there we are. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I won't lie, like I hopefully, well not hopefully, but as you've seen through the video, I had my ups and downs, but I've really had my downs. I've really had my downs since moving in and it's not necessarily about just like moving in. It's just the next step in my healing journey. And there's new parts that are basically being brought up for me to heal that I've never had the opportunity to notice because I've never been in a situation where I had to live by myself. So like things like really turning up for myself, being empowered in myself, um, being able to like shift energy and like really turn up for myself and not reach out to people is my next thing. And I had therapy this morning because I was actually really, really struggling last night and this morning. And honestly, like it just took a weight off my shoulders and I really understood like, ah, oh, the way that things are gonna feel easier is if you jump into this empowered mode. And I won't lie, I had to kind of fake it this morning. Like I like made a little sassy TikTok. I put up a cute little story. I put on a cute gym outfit. I did my hair kind of, I did my gua sha. And I was like, actually, maybe I, maybe this is all I needed. You know, sometimes you do have to fake it that like you're doing okay and that you're a bus bee. And then, and then it's there, it's ready to be tapped into. And that's what I've done today. I'm tapping into it. I'm always gonna have my ups and downs and I'm always gonna show you on every single vlog, um, no matter whether I'm showing you my running progress, whether I'm showing you my what I eat in a week, whether I'm whatever, like even if it has nothing to do with emotions, my emotions will come into it because emotions come into everything. And that's what we kind of talk about on my channel and share. I've had my breakfast, I'm now drinking my green juice and I'm gonna go to the coffee shop and I'm gonna do some editing. I'm gonna edit this exact vlog, so just know what I'm doing. And then I'm gonna go to the gym. First time going to the gym in a long time, so I'm very excited. We have got this, girlies and guys, if you're here. It's gonna be a big year for us. It's gonna be a big year, 2023, and let's get excited. Let's get excited. So I'm gonna leave you now, and I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye!